Well, hello guys, how are you today? Um, this is Bob Butler's production coming at you with another review, and as you can see on your screen, uh, that's the Re Revenant Cartel 160. Um, this review has went on like forever, but Bob Brothers hasn't done a review quite this like this. I haven't found any other information on the problems I've been having with the cartel. Excuse me, I was trying to take a drink. Um, empty box. So what we have is the cartel 160, um, vaping at 100 watts on my Drew RDA. Uh, right now I have uh, dual fuel Clapton build in here. Um, <clears throat> the issue is that I have found with this mod is I have to take the batteries out at night. Um, I can't leave an Addy on there. Um, when I first the first day I had it, it auto fired on me. Don't know why. Can't figure out the problem, but I have noticed that the uh, I want to have my Crown 3 tank on here, which is the one it auto fired on. The uh, it wobbles a little bit, and if you can see, I don't know if you can get that on camera, but it doesn't sit flush. That and the other issue I had was this limitless RTL limitless tank that adds the XL with both the uh, rebuildable um, decks on here. This will not screw down on this mod whatsoever. I have tried, and it's like the threads are too big. But it fits fine on this one, and this Druga RDA will fit fine on this. But this tank will not fit on my cartel. But that's the issue I've been having with this cartel mod is the auto fire problem it's only done it one time but it burnt so bad because like I don't know if you can see it on camera but right here I got pot like it, when I grabbed the mod because it was just literally auto firing and was trying to take the Addy off it spewed out of my hand and burnt the crap out of me oh, sorry fans came on automatically um let me wrong. I love the cartel. I've been wanting a cartel mod since they first came out. But at night, I have to switch over to the LMC due to the fact that I don't want this thing blowing up at while I'm sleeping or whatever. Um, but I have not found any other common issues on YouTube about this mod for auto firing. Um, is it worth the money? It, like, as much as I like this mod, I'm going to have to say no. Uh, the mod is, I think, on sale right now for like $149, $145. A um, couple places uh, are sold out of them, but they were like on sale for $99.99 guys if you want a resin mod there's better options there's cheaper options one being the vupu drag yeah you can't you don't have the resin on both sides like you do on this one or the back or you know anything like that but i haven't seen any problems on by any other reviewers for that mod none whatsoever um and then new one that just came out, uh, I don't think it's been out like two weeks yet. And that would be the uh, Funky 160, which has interchangeable plates on both sides. Um, they're, it, it's kind of like the LMC. The LMC has removable plates on both sides. That's kind of like the same concept with the Funky mod. It's plates with resin. I, I, I would love it if uh, iJoy came out with the resin plates for this thing. I would probably sell this. Or it'd sit on my shelf. One of the two. I don't know yet. But um, yeah, it's like I said, 
with this channel, it's vaping on a budget because everything comes out of our pocket. This actually was sent to me for the purpose of the review. I'm not going to say who sent it to me because they want to remain anonymous. Thank you to you. Uh, I love the thing, but as it sits, I don't know if I'm going to end up using it or... I've been using it now for about a week. And... Like I said... It's had its problems. Uh, I, I don't know if it was my tank, because my tank hasn't done it any other time. Um, other than that, like I haven't had any issues at it. Battery life kind of sucks. I'm running through about four batteries a day vaping at 80 watts. Uh, whereas this thing, I can vape this thing with the same RDA on there <clears throat> at comfortably about 80 watts. A set of batteries lasts me probably about three quarters of the day. I'll change the batteries out when I get up in the morning. Or, sorry. I change the batteries before I go out of bed. That way I have a full set, full charge of batteries. Because, again, we're babying on a budget here. You know, we've only, I've only got two sets of batteries. So, you know, i got to make sure i got a set charge. Because, A, this does not have a charging port anywhere on it in... Um, I've yet to do a review on that one. Um, but, you know, we're working with, you know, little mo little to no funding. Um, we're trying to get sponsored and all that stuff. And it, it takes time. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm almost at a thousand followers, if not at a thousand follower, followers on Instagram now. So, um, you know, back to the review part is... If this thing took crap on me tomorrow, would I dish out 150 bucks for it? Hell no. There are other better alternatives out there. Um, like, like I said, the Funky would be one of them. You want a good, reliable mod that has a bigger display screen. I mean, the only reason I like this mod, two reasons. The Omni board and the resin. Now if say I don't know exactly what board the funky is running right now, but it seems to be a good board. Um that's pretty much it for right now. Um if you guys want to see more of this cheap vaping on a budget Hit that like and subscribe. We're going to come out with more videos. Um, as always, we will see you next time.